Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. Behind me, you can see one of our machines with the Robot Loader 25. The Robot Loader 25 can load HSK work pieces weighting up to 20 kg and up to 320 mm in diameter. In this tutorial, I would like to show a few basic functions of the operation of the robot and the control software process manager. Here you can see the slightly accelerated process. The robot takes a workpiece from the pallet, moves it into the machine and adjusts it. After processing, it is removed again and returned to the pallet location and the next part is chucked in. Up to 70 workpieces can be placed in the robot cell. With the process manager software, the IDNs are assigned to the workpieces and the sequence of machining defined. To begin with, I now show how to insert the workpieces into the robot cell. After unlocking the door, I put the workpieces into the level 0 and align the first tools to be machined using the laser line. Then the door is closed. A sensor mounted on the grip projects the occupancy of the lock and displays the occupied positions in the process manager. In the process manager the desired machining IDN is now searched for and selected via search function and assigned to a workpiece and the feeding process is started. The diameter of the workpiece is checked by using sensors and the part is placed chaotically on a suitable place. On the main page of the process manager you can see the current process and the different processing stages in color. The occupancy of the feeding pellet is determined and detected parts are displayed. In the insert menu you can now choose whether you only want to store the workpiece or process it at the beginning or end of the current job. The IDN is selected using the search function and assigned to a workpiece and the intersection process is completed. While the robot and the machine are working, the other parts can be defined. In the job list, only storage list shows all stored parts. Using the mouse, the next parts to be processed are marked and transferred to the tool list for processing and the job is started with auto start. The work pieces are now processed and can be found afterwards in the finished jobs list. The work pieces can also be found in the tool list and are marked green there. The list can be filtered according to the various criteria using the searching function. For example, according to processing status. All shows all tools, none only stored, row all tools in job list but still unprocessed, processing, work piece is currently in progress and OK are finished tools. Furthermore, it is possible to filter by the ballot level the name or the tag in order to query the status of a specific work piece or group. After marking individual tools, they can move to the unloaded jobs. After pressing the eject button, the robot picks up the corresponding parts and places them in the feeding pallet zero. In order to get an overview of the tasks that have been completed, History is provided. Here you can see over a definable period of time which parts were processed when and how long this took in each case. Filters are available. That was our tutorial Robot25 and Process Manager. You can find more information about our machines, software, training and customer care on our homepage. Visit us again soon.